Andy Ford is in the prime of his life. As a farrier, he spends his days shoeing show jumping and racing horses. His busy life was interrupted by a debilitating attack of the shingles and had to take weeks off work. I knew something was wrong prior to the rash appearing. The rash actually appeared, well, came out of my forehead at a very rapid rate. I've had a sort of lump on my head. I didn't know it was a boil or a bang myself. It was sore, tender to the touch. And that went on for f four or five days and then I started getting a headache. And then uh, it was a Sunday afternoon. It really took hold and I felt as if there was, I thought I'd had a, a parasite under my skin. And, and as I felt this sort of feeling running down through my forehead, I, I thought I'd been invaded by, by some alien. <laughs> Form. So I, I could feel it moving from the top of my, on, on the top of my head, towards my forehead, and then down across my forehead, almost in an arc, this way. And it felt like there was, well, obviously there was, but it felt like I had a bug of some sort crawling about. It was hideous. I was still in a lot of discomfort for the best part of three or four days. But the, but the rash was sort of mutating, if you like. My head became so swollen, my eye was closed. Um, yeah, I look like Elephant Man. I can well describe the pain. I can remember it to this day. It's like being hit with a cricket bat. I have a bunch of stinging that was wrapped across your face and hot chip fat thrown at you simultaneously, all at the same time. Those three pains put together. Absolutely dreadful. <laughs>